Headaches are a very common phenomenon today because it occurs due to several reasons. The main reason being our stressful lifestyles which cause exhaustion and inadequate sleep. Whatever the cause may be, headaches can be quite debilitating. Take a cup and add a generous tablespoon of cinnamon or dalchini powder. Add a little bit of water to form a semi-liquid paste. Apply this on your forehead and temple areas for pain relief. Take about a 1 inch piece of fresh ginger, crush it coarsely and add it to a glass of water. And now boil this for about 3 to 4 minutes. Once it boils, let it cool until it is just warm and then strain this liquid in a cup. Once you have strained this, it is ready to drink. Brew some green tea leaves along with some water. Now strain this liquid and add the juice of half a lime. You can also add some honey to it. Mix it well and remember to have this when it's still warm. Tender coconut water or watermelon juice can provide relief if the headache is caused due to excessive heat in the body. So add this to your breakfast especially during summer months. Take a handful of mint or pudina leaves and a handful of coriander or dhania leaves. Soak them well for about 5 minutes and then carefully pick the ones on top. Take those leaves and grind them and make a juice out of it. And now drink this to get a relief from headache. So de-stress, stay well hydrated and don't let that headache get you down. Knee pain has become a very common complaint today. Unlike earlier years, when only the elderly seem to be afflicted by it, even youngsters seem to increasingly be having this problem today. Since the knees have to bear the weight of the body, it is very important that they be looked after well. The most common cause of knee pain is arthritis, which affects the knee joint. However, excessive weight or any injury can also result in knee pain, which if severe can lead to a debilitating lifestyle. Let's look at some traditional but effective ways of treating knee pain. Coconut oil, known for its curative properties, is one of the best ways of treating knee pain. Massage the knees 2-3 to three times a day with slightly warm coconut oil and keep your knees covered for about 10 minutes. Methi or fenugreek seeds have also been known to provide knee pain relief. So take few teaspoons of methi seeds and now dry roast them in a pan. Let it cool for some time and then make a fine powder like this. Take few teaspoons of this powder, add enough water to make a thick paste and apply this over your knees for few hours and then wash it off. To a pan, add 1 to 1 and a half cups of drinking water. Take some fresh ginger and grate it and now take about half a teaspoon of grated ginger and take half a teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder. Let this heat for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once it boils, strain this liquid and add 2 teaspoons of honey to it. Mix this well and it's ready to drink. Besides the above remedies, dilute half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in one cup of water and take small sips of this solution. Remember, if you're suffering from knee pain, do not overly stress your knees and do not be immobile for prolonged periods which would make the joints stiff. Take care of your knees because you need them to get around. Those who have experienced a toothache know the agony that it can cause. Besides the excruciating pain, it can also affect your appetite and your sleep. 
So what causes a toothache? It can be due to many factors such as tooth decay, gum infection or tooth nerve irritation. Whatever the reason may be, it needs to be addressed immediately. Take a bowl and add about 2 teaspoons of lime juice and then add a generous pinch of asafoetida or hing. Mix it and warm it very slightly. Take a piece of cotton, dip it in this mixture and apply it on the affected tooth. Alternatively, you can also take a clove and place it on the affected tooth and bite on it really hard. Take a glass of lukewarm water and add about half a teaspoon of salt to it. Mix this well and gargle your mouth with it a couple of times a day. Not only does this bring down the swelling, but it also eliminates bacteria affecting the tooth. An extremely simple way of dealing with a toothache is to take quarter teaspoon of salt and quarter teaspoon of pepper powder. Mix a little water to it until you form a paste. Now apply this to the affected area, leave it on for a little while and then gargle it off. When you feel a toothache is coming on, immediately take a piece of onion and place it on your tooth or chew an onion just for a little while. Remember, oral hygiene plays a huge role in your overall health, so do not ignore a toothache. One of the most common joint diseases is osteoarthritis which occurs when the cartilage or the cushioning pad between the joints starts wearing away. This results in inflammation, pain and stiffness of the afflicted joint especially in the mornings after prolonged immobilization of the joint or even after overusing of the joint. It is difficult to pinpoint the exact cause of osteoarthritis also, this no longer affects only the elderly as even young children are getting affected. The main reasons for this are obesity, overuse of the joint, any injury or even genetic factors. Simple home remedies can be used to deal with osteoarthritis unless the condition is so severe that it requires medical help. A simple home remedy is Take one to one and a half tablespoons of honey. To this add half to three quarter teaspoons of dalchini or cinnamon powder. Mix this well and have this at the start of your day every morning. In a pan add about 200 to 250 ml of mustard oil and to this add a small piece of camphor about 5 to 10 grams. Let this heat until the camphor completely dissolves and now allow it to cool and once slightly warm apply it over the joint. In a pan take about 1 to 1 and a half liters of drinking water. And to this add some fresh ginger. Let it boil for about 5 to 8 minutes. Once it boils, remove from fire and leave it for about 15 minutes. And now strain this liquid into a bowl. Add some honey to this. Mix this well. Have it warm with some honey 2 to 3 times a day. Besides the above, it is very essential to keep your weight in check to avoid a strain on the joints. A healthy diet is also very important and last but not least, make sure you move the joints regularly but do not overdo it. Keep your bones healthy to stay healthy. Gastritis is an inflammation of the lining of the stomach which manifests as a cramping in the stomach, a feeling of the belly being on fire, being bloated, nausea and vomiting. If you look at the reasons why gastritis occurs, it is mainly due to bad eating habits and bad choices of food. Eating at erratic hours or just before bedtime, overindulgence in spicy and oily foods and excessive intake of coffee, tea and alcohol can all trigger gastritis.
Take a handful of basil or tulsi leaves, add half a cup of water and blend them and you will receive this juice. Add a generous pinch of rock salt to this juice. Mix it really well and have it two to three times a day for gastritis. Take a bowl and add about one tablespoon of honey. And now add one teaspoon of lime juice to it and also a pinch of black pepper. Mix this well and have it two to three times a day. Take a glass of thin buttermilk, add a pinch of turmeric powder or haldi, also add a pinch of asafoetida or hing and add about quarter teaspoon of fenugreek seed powder. Mix this really well and drink this at night for symptom relief. Take a small piece of fresh ginger, wash it and grate it and to this add half a cup of water and boil it in a pan. And you need to boil this until it is reduced to half. Let this cool and then strain it in a glass. Yeah. After straining it, it is ready to drink. These are measures to cure gastritis but it is essential to prevent gastritis as it can lead to far more serious health issues if it becomes chronic. Drink a lot of water but remember not to drink water with food. So eat at regular intervals, cut down the spice and oil in your diet if your stomach cannot stomach it. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you feel and make sure to check out our other videos and remember, stay healthy and live a long happy life.